So as I was saying before, finally carefully hot glue a square of cardboard over the end of the cone, leaving a small slit for the flue. Um, see the other video for an, uh, for an important note on the direction of air leaving the flue. Now, the end product should look something like this. This sample has score lines, which was an early concept that I tried out, but that didn't work very well and didn't look very good either. Uh, because this was a prototype, I didn't take very good care of this one, so it's a little banged up. Nevertheless, if I turn the foot this way, you can see the slit of the flue. And if I aim it right, you can see uh, light glinting through it. Now, part two of the flue pipe is the pipe body, or the resonating chamber. For this part, I went through two designs. The first one I detailed on my website. It looks like this, and it involves creating a tube and scoring it in two places vertically to create the flat region of the upper lip. See, it's flattened between the two score lines. Now this assembly would subsequently need to be inserted into the PVC pipe so that together they would form the resonating chamber. This worked fine from a functional standpoint. It, uh, it spoke, but it wouldn't look very good to have a PVC pipe standing on this and then this standing on the foot. So the next solution was to cut the mouth directly from the PVC pipe. Using a common wood saw, I just cut into the end of a pipe at an angle, producing again a parabola, which I capped partially with cardboard to create the upper lip. So this is the final orientation. Obviously this here was just an early prototype, um, using a larger diameter of PVC pipe, three inches as opposed to two inches. To create the final assembly then, simply hot glue the two assemblies together, the foot and the resonating chamber, after adjusting them for correct airflow so that the sheet of air that emanates from the foot hits the edge squarely. Of course, there's a size mismatch here. And you get your PVC flue pipe. Now I mentioned the icing equation in my earlier video, and what we can see here after removing part of, uh, part of the resonating chamber is that a setup that speaks for a given length of pipe may not speak properly if the parameters are changed. So that's it. Uh, see you next time, and 